Hey guys, how you doing? This is Asamo here, and I got Paul. What's up, Paul? Hey brother, how you doing? Boy, we sure have gotten a lot of hits from that uh, sound that we yeah. were talking about. But before we get started on that, I think you have an update on what's going on with earthquake, earthquakes, don't you? Yeah, we've got an earthquake uh, uh, report right now. Uh, it says that there was a uh, um, a six point two off of Chile. Uh, there was a there was an earthquake. It's a six point two off of uh, offshore on Chile, and um, I'll show you a little graph on on where that one is. It's uh, the ring of fire. Yeah, it's right down where the ring of fire is again. And mm. right over here, brothers and sisters, there's an earthquake down here. Just just happened uh, 6.2 five hours ago. And um, see here, look, this like this one. This one just happened. And Dominion of Republic uh, was a 5.1 just now. And uh, looks like Hawaii had had one about 15 hours ago. Uh, I know there was one that was like a, a five point something that you reported. Off of there, and you know, there's there's just so many Fiji Island and um, um, Indonesia, uh, Japan again, 5.3 happening there, and uh, there was one in Mexico too that w there was an earthquake on there too as well, Puerto Rico and a whole bunch in California um, that's happening on here. So definitely in Ring of Fire, there's a lot of um, earthquakes happening here. And, um, you know, I think um, we were talking about Hawaii there, and I just want to say something about regarding Hawaii. And uh, I know Paul Jackson said there was going to be an earthquake um, that was going to be in the States again. Oh, actually, no, I take that back. He said there was going to be a volcano erupting in the States again. So I don't know if that's Hawaii or, or he's talking about Yellowstone, but that's something to, just to keep in mind uh, of what's happening um, mm -hmm. so, so, uh, we need to just, uh, keep update on that and see what's going on. You know, brother, you know, but I've been noticing lately, and you've been showing that we've been talking about there's different, uh, different storms and the way the weather's changing, the patterns of weather and the way the, the earth is moving. And, and it's like the sign of the pains, yeah. of early, the childbirth pains of the earth. Yep, that's for you sure. Get kind of, you know, I get this picture in your head, and I'm not forgetting it, not to gross everybody else out there, but uh, it's kind of like a vomiting, you know, like mm. the earth is vomiting, you know, itself. Yeah. Things are happening, and it's just on the increase. It's not something we're making up here. That's for sure. That's true. Yeah, so there's, we're just, um, just seeing a whole bunch of increase on that. So something's definitely happening, that's for sure. Definitely, definitely. But uh, as my brother was mentioning, uh, we did get a lot of response on the sounds, the strange sounds, and uh, we, we appreciate you people writing regarding that and, and um, putting in your views about what's what's what you've been hearing and stuff. So um, definitely uh, keep writing on that, and uh, we definitely want to pray for you people out there as well. So um, is there anything you want to share there, Paul, on that? Well, I just think we should start praying for him right now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Dear Heavenly Father, we just come to you and we thank you for all the people that have responded to that, that video. Yes. Right, with the sounds all over the world. Yes, Father, we God. just thank you for everybody being so interested in that. And I can ask that you give a special blessing for everybody out there. Yes, Lord. For all who are hurting in their heart, and all the needing uh, for prayer for their finances and for their loved ones and for relationships and for anything that would hinder them from knowing you, Lord, I ask that you just reach out to them and touch their hearts, touch their ears and touch their eyes that they may see and hear you in a special way. And Lord, you, you say that you're no respecter of people. And what you mean, and what I feel in my heart, what you mean by that, Lord, is that you're no respecter of people in the sense of um, that you don't look at the Christian and the non-Christian and say, well, I'm going to give this one to them and not to that one. You're no respecter of people. Yeah. You give the just and the unjust. So, Father, I ask that you bless all people out there that need your, need your help right now. I don't care what they're going, going through, Lord. Just please touch them. In yes. fact, what we take from us and give to, our, uh, to people out there that are need the prayers that you give us a special prayer today, we release our prayers upon everybody out there that needs those, that special prayer in their life. We'll ask, Lord, that you do us a special favor and bless all those people out there. 
that are, that are you know, got our email, email address in and let us know what was going on, what they thought. And we thank you, Lord, for blessing them. And we just ask that you'd send your angels and that you'd send your spirit upon them and watch, them, watch over them in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. And uh, keep writing to us, letting us know about your thoughts. And um, like I said, we're still kind of playing as far as the sound and everything. And uh, uh, don't forget to subscribe on our on our YouTube channel. And also write to us. Uh, you know, our our email is uh, firstfriday777 at gmail.com. So you can write to us directly on that. And then you uh, find out the events on the, first, um, the Real Thing Ministries and that. And uh, also, if you want us to come to speak to you at your studies or Bible study or whatever, we're willing to go out there as well and um, share share the message and pray for you too as well. So um, definitely. Man. We do have an engagement coming in February, I think, really, don't we, at this, this one church? Yeah. Yeah, we've got one uh, engagement coming up. Uh, I don't know if it's February or March, but we're working on it. Uh, it's going to be down at Oceanside as well. And uh, um, some of you people, um, if um, you want to join us for a live broadcast, uh, we're on here uh, every day, Monday through Friday, about 1 o'clock. So uh, you can um, join in to our website uh, and for a live uh, webcast as far as that. Definitely. Well, as far as uh, um, talking about what's happening regarding the sound stuff, um, there's also a topic that we want to talk to you about, and and this topic is about angels. And uh, some some of some of you people wrote and and asked uh, they they thinking that these are angels and sounds and and um, we want to kind of open that up as well as that. You know, one of the thoughts I want to propose to everybody out there that's, that's tuning in right now and that's going to tune in, are angels real hmm. or not? This is a question we want you to email us and let us know what you think. But here's the scripture to start that up and to back this up, what yes. we're talking about. It says, this is Hebrews 13, in any Bible that you want to find, but it's in Hebrews 13, I think it's a... Uh, the second verse, and it says, Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, but by doing so, that some have entertained angels without knowing it. Could it not be, brothers and sisters, there are people that aren't, that aren't of uh, the, the Christian faith, could it be that you have entertained angels without you knowing it? Hmm. Hmm. So on that note, brother, I think you had a testimony, didn't you, about an angel that you had uh, come across? Yeah, this 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 happened a, a long time ago. Um, it was is during the time where I was trying to get I was getting married to to my wife, and and um, I lost uh, <clears throat> right before uh, we we're about to get married. I, I you know I lost my job and um, down on my finances, and um, I was pretty much down to my luck. And I was walking down the streets trying to fill out every cat applications out there looking for work. And um, I remember walking down Venice, uh, somewhere in Venice, and uh, there was a, uh, uh, looked like a street person. He was, uh, he was a colored man um, walking down toward me. And, and I just knew that when he was going to walk toward me, he was going to ask me for some money, which he did. He came up. And he said, he said, brother, do you have any money on you? And I said, you know, I just lost my job and I'm going to get married. And and I didn't have a cent, and which, which is true. I didn't have a cent. And uh, I was kind of really down. And then all of a sudden he turned around and his his eyes kind of lit up. It was like really bright. And, and um, his whole countenance it, uh, changed. And I'm like, wow, you know. And then all of a sudden he started singing a uh, kind of a, a hymno song or a praise song or something like that about Jesus. And and then he said to he said something to me. He said he said uh, don't ever feel like don't ever feel like you're small because you're not small. You're big in the eyes of the Lord. And then I turned around and he was gone. He disappeared. And then you know after that it, you know I'm like I was kind of had my jaw open. I was like wow. 
And uh, I told my my wife about that, uh, and she was pretty shocked about that too as well. And um, that was that was uh, my encounter of one one of my encounters of angels. And this wasn't a you know the angel was not in in like a, a didn't have wings or anything like that, but it was just like a human form, and uh, which was kind of interesting. And in fact, a lot of my angel encounters were people. In human form and um, um, I know I know the Bible says this is you know beside the point but the Bible says also that uh, that Jesus when Jesus maybe it was Jesus I don't know but but uh, you know um, in the Bible right after his resurrection um, it says scripture says that, that Jesus appeared in, in a different form I remember he said that in the scriptures to his disciples that they didn't recognize him, but it was Jesus. And uh, you, you've had some uh, angel candles too, right, brother? Yeah, well, what, to tell you the truth, brother, this happened to me right after we went to a conference this weekend, last weekend, and uh, we, we seen a, a person called uh, Bobby Connors, and he, he gave me an impartation, he left me with an impartation, and, we're praying heavily in the spirit that day. And anyway, came back the next day and I still felt that presence of that impartation on me. And I still feel it now. But I was, the other day I was walking through my room and all of a sudden I seen this gold like cloud or like it was like a double edged sword walk before me. Wow. Just proceed real quickly before me. Like it was like showing me the way. And it was, it was, it was like a double edged sword, but it was like a, like, like a, like, like a, a spirit that just went before me real quick. But it was gold. Wow. And that's so what stuck in my mind was how gold it was. It was like, like pure gold in front of me, just walking before me, just taking its presence before me. I mean, there's times that I've been at the church that we attend, I've seen 15 foot angels in the corner. They're silhouettes standing, just looking over. Like their like their their hands are like they had hands with their hands out like this, like just protecting, or just showing that they're there. There's always and one thing I notice about angels. There's always something different, and it's not a, a threatening. It's not to scare you. It's like a calming. Hmm. Whenever it's a calming presence on you, that's the Lord's presence of His angels, or His spirit it could be. When it, if it's if it's if it's if it's, if it's uh, anxiousness or, or something that's frightening, that's not of the world. And that's one thing I think we're going to be getting into talking to you about the different things that we've seen over, over the past. And I think my brother has some clips here to show you. Uh -huh. Now here's some clips uh, just to explain what it is. Is um, some pictures that people have taken uh, of what they considered angels. What? Well, which Can you stay back on that picture, bro? Well, which one? The um, one you just had right now. Can you go back there? Because I just seen something. I'm sure you've seen it too. Can, oh, can you lower that down a little bit? Okay, right there. If you can look, look at look at the wall where the red is, where that it looks like it's red or something there, and then the white right there. You then right you have here? the curtain. Okay, look. Okay, go to your right, just a little bit. No, no, not too far. Go way, way, way back where you were. No, over here to the left, to your left, your other left, <laughs> 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 to the left over here where it's next to the wall. Okay, Did right here. Okay, now go over like a uh, quarter of an inch. Quarter of an inch, no, to the right. Okay. Do you see that line with that with that white is where it sort of looks like a head at the top? Oh, right here. Yeah, yeah well, go straight to the follow that white line. Okay. It, the white line, not the blue line. You know, over there on the curtains. I'm okay. talking about that. Do you see that head over there? Right here. Yeah. Okay. It's like a person. Yeah. It's like a person. So if you could just go over there and show those people again so they can see that for themselves. Okay. Go along that, with that, like, the, the perimeter of that whole line that goes all the way down. Right. There. And then on the other side. 
is another one. So that's what we're talking about. When we see angels, that's what we're talking about like that. And huh. you may say, no, it isn't. It's just the light coming through the coming through the window. Huh. That's one way to look at it, I guess. That's interesting. Yeah. Well, moving on, here's uh here's another one. People seeing angels like in the sky. Clouds. Oh. Almost like it looks like a flesh colored angel on its head. Yeah. Its right up here. Some kind of picture right here. Is that the helicopter? I have no idea, but I don't know that guy. It's a friend of ours. We call him the helicopter. Oh no. <laughs> and this one here, uh yeah, that that looks like an angel to me. <laughs> yeah. It definitely looks like one. Well, that, that's obviously a painting there, but... Uh... Yeah. But, you know, angels do come in different forms. I think I think a lot of us say, oh, well, you know, when we were brought up as kids, oh, they have wings on them, and, they, and they're over there, and they're standing by Jesus. But not necessarily they have to be like what you see in books. Right. However, the, the Lord wants them to appear that he shows them. Right, right. Whatever, you know, I think if we if we try to use wrap our mind around what angels look like, I think we'd flip out. Mm. We couldn't understand it. I mean, in the Bible, it says that when Jesus, when the Lord says his face is like a double-edged sword. Imagine that, a double-edged sword coming out of his face. Now, the human mind, the way we think, we'd be scared of something like that. But in the spirit, it's easy to comprehend it and take it in. Because what that is, is God's presence, his truth. And I know it's hard for people to understand that when you're thinking when you're blind, you're not thinking with your heart and your spirit. It's going to be different, it takes on a different meaning. When you do it from your mind, from your mind to your heart, your heart shows you those things. And your flesh just lines up and goes, whoa, this is too much. But your spirit says, no, this is just the beginning, this is nothing. Anyway. Wow. You know, you know, it's interesting, brother, that um, now when you see angels, you see them in, in like um, sort of like you see them in gold and you see them in, in a different kind of. Yeah, for me, it's it's like I've seen blue and gold clouds, like hovering, hovering. Blue and clouds. Like, like blue. Well, blue is supposed to be, uh, what I heard, the color blue is supposed to be the, before the throne of God. Hmm. I felt it. Gold, I'm not sure about that. I just know that's a pretty big thing when you see gold like that. But it's like, it, it ho I've seen it hovering in my room, just like, just waiting for me. Huh. Waiting to see what if I'm going to uh, thank God or get into a deeper worship. Whenever you go into soak, and I'm sure you felt this way before, whenever you go into soak, and you get that anointing on you, and, right. and you go into a different realm. You're not in that, you're not in that flesh realm, you're in a, a different realm with God. And you feel that glory fall on you, fall. Hmm. And, and that's the way that I get it when, I, when you know, the spirit comes to me or when the, the angel falls like that, it's like, oh, it's like an awe. Huh. And what doing. You know, when, when I see, um, I know each person's different and, and when I see the angels, um, I see them in, in like human form. Mm. And um, why why that happens, I don't know. Um, another um, time it happened when I was worshiping in the middle of the morning, uh, about 6 o'clock, and I felt like the Lord said, you know, get up and worship me during this one song. And I did that. I turned around, and I, I, I sensed a presence, you know, like over yeah. here or something like that. And I looked yeah. out, and there was a, a person in white. Yeah. And uh, I thought it was a neighbor and stuff like that. And I was like, why, why would a neighbor be out there? And he was, like, dressed in white. And wow. uh, it was gone. Yeah. You know, sometimes it, it's like a presence, too. Um, yeah. 
I believe that so strong. You know, I confirm that with you because that presence is oh. just awesome. It's just awesome. It comes upon you. It's like you're almost with your head to the ground. Just right. Feeling God just not hurting you. just kind of settling on you. Right. You know, like just when Moses went by him, he had, to, he had to humble himself. He couldn't. He couldn't handle God's presence. He had almost bury his face in the ground because God's presence was too powerful for right. man to even uh, to take in. Right. All right. Um, I've got one clip here to show show people. Um, this is one favorite, um, famous one. I think a lot of people have seen. And this is the angel in the fire. We showed this the last time. You remember that one, right? Yeah. Oh, look at that. You see that, people? That was one um, famous one, and and I had one clip somewhere here, and I lost it. But uh, it was one about when you were saying you saw an angel, kind of like they were blue, right? Blue or gold or different different colors. Oh, wow! There's one uh, one um, video that that I had uh, that showed picture of. Um, an angel, or they're they're thinking it's a they don't know what what it was, but it was at a at a gas station, and um, I don't know if you've seen that clip before, brother, but it was um these people it was in a on the news, um at a gas station, and um, they caught it on film on the surveillance camera kind of thing. Do you have it, brother, or what? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to find it. Yeah, I had it. You know, sorry, people. I thought you're trying to tease us here. No, so. no, I actually, got, I thought I just found it right here. Okay. But uh, oh, what's that? yeah, someone has a stupid music going on, but um, let's see if I can find a better version of that. Just, just turn off the music and show the thing. Yeah. Let me see if I can find it here. <laughs> bear, with, bear with me for a second. I'm just here it goes. Here's the clip right here. And basically, this was a su surveillance camera that they, someone had it at a gas station. All these people here. See that little blue thing there? Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. And uh, somebody um, had it had. Um, had took this picture, her surveillance camera, and uh, this little blue thing hovering, and it'll squirm around like that around people. Mm. Wish I had a better audio version on that, but uh, I can't find it right now. Sorry, but you get the idea. Yeah. And uh, well, just... didn't you have a couple of our sauce when we had that first Friday? Yeah, yeah, we did. Um, this this one happened recently. Um, let's see here. Let me see if I can fix that sound. Do you hear that little cracking sound there for a second? Uh, I just saw you changing that. Uh, yeah, let me try, try to, let me try to fix the, I think my audio is too high in here. Let me just say that. I don't hear anything on this end. Oh, I do. I just trying to. Okay. okay. Here's, um, here's a picture right here. Uh, this is from our first Friday's, uh, uh, session that we had. And, um, you've seen this picture before. Um, from from we'll this is slower, bro. Oh, okay. This one here is a shot that somebody took um, visiting. Can you, can you show them that pointer where, where the outline of that wing is, so oh. you can see it? Okay, right here. Yeah. Okay. Go all the way down to the amp. Right here. Yeah. Okay. See all the way up, everybody. That's what that's like a wing of an angel. There. And if you look over by his guitar, to where his neck is, it's almost like a head on that side. Hmm. Like it's bending over, almost like covering it, brother. Wow. And then here's a, um, another one right here I wanted to show you. This is the recent one that just happened uh, in January. And you can see some kind of uh, presence or something here. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe I can enlarge it a bit here. There you go. You see that right there, brother? Yeah, sure do. And then right here, you'll see something here. And uh, here's a little girl that was worshiping uh, during that time. But then there's a presence uh, right up here. 
right up there. Mm. And then if you look at this one picture right here, you can definitely see something there. Right up here. It's like it's almost like he has wings right here, and there's another wing here, and there's a head right here. And this this picture here, my, actually, my son took um, during that time, and and I remember that night during the worship time, we had some major problems with sound. We couldn't even play, and it was really it was terrible. <laughs> and uh, but uh, something was going on. And uh, that's the shot right there, of, uh, if you can see that, um, of angels and stuff. And this is kind of stuff that you see phys in your physical eye, huh, brother, that you see kind of thing? That kind of, that kind of form, that's what you see. That's exactly. Mm. That's interesting. Because the form that I like, the form I see is, is more like a person kind of thing. Excuse me, excuse me, it's not that one. The one that I see is the one with that where it showed that wing over your guitar. Okay, like more like a gold thing, like um, that's uh, what it was. On, like a or else I get like blue clouds just hovering over in my room. Really? Let me see. More like a uh, sort of like that. Yeah, exactly that. But wow. it's huge. Wow, wow. That's interesting. That's interesting. Oh. I'm just curious about you people out there. What do you see? You know, maybe you can send us some pictures or something like that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it, it, you know, we can't put God in a, you know, one thing for sure, me and my brother, what we don't want to do is we don't want to put God in a box, you know. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he can come anyway. I mean, uh, I can tell you stories that uh, uh, will bring bring out your uh, religious spirit. <laughs> Of the things that that uh, you just you just uh, you know you just know it's like wow what are you doing God you know and um, you know we just uh, we just gotta let him be what he you know what he what he wants to do and uh, for some reason you know r recently you know brothers that uh, it seems like the Lord's kind of revealing himself in pictures now you know yeah. I mean in photos and, and digital pictures a lot of people are getting orbs you know and, and we get a lot of orb pictures in, in a lot of our pictures and uh, and I can I can go on the subject regarding that but uh, uh, um, to narrow it down uh, we had uh, a couple people who had three cameras three different separate people and we took over a Laguna Beach uh, we did a um, we did a um, outreach out there and basically we just took our guitars and started playing worship and all this stuff so a couple people took pictures of what we were worshiping and people were in flags or you know uh worshiping there'll be tons of these uh angel orbs i call them that orbs around there and then uh, my wife and everybody would take their pictures across the street there'll be none there and these are uh three different cameras okay not uh, some three different people taking these pictures and they'll be the same thing right here There'll be tons of them over here. There'll be none and So why is it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know and uh, These pictures here were, were actually given by people that uh, Have took pictures of it, which were pretty cool and I did you know it's exciting um, that God's doing stuff like that, you know and uh, with the sound thing, you know the people Hearing all these different sounds and stuff. What do you got? You, I can tell you have something there, brother. No, no, I just listen to what you're saying. It's just, yeah, there's a, the Lord moves in different ways, you know. I know uh, most people, when we think of angels, we think of just one with with wings all the time. Yeah. Not that this is necessarily means because you have a brother or sister seeing uh, 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 an angel with, with wings, and this doesn't necessarily mean that the angel is going to show up with wings every time. That's right. I mean, the Lord can move and have that angel come whatever which way it wants to. That's right. And I will, if, if we think about abstract like that, if we're thinking about the Holy Spirit and how abstract it is, then it really in the, in the spirit world, what, what's abstract is, is us. That's right. What's real is in the spirit world. That's the way it's supposed to be. Right. And we're, if anything, we're abstract. It's not that the Lord is. It, it's natural there. I mean, it's hard for us to grab our brain around what I'm saying, but it's true. When we look at things from our own 
our limited mind, since we use a certain amount, we don't use our full capacity of our mind. And it, our mind can't go beyond what the spirit can. The spirit mm. can be here and be somewhere else throughout the world. Mm. It can be in outer space or it can be right here. It can move without any limitations to hold it. Where us in our physical body, we can only go so far. Right. Wow, that's interesting, brother. Interesting. Wow. Now, one thing for sure, folks. Okay, now we talked about angels, but then also, if you have angels, you also have demons, too. So, they're real, too. And, and I don't like talking about demons, but uh, I'd rather talk that about would, the Lord and, and the yeah, angels. Well, that'll stuff. be another show. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But there are that my brother's my brother says a lot of truth to that. But is you know we just you got you know one thing that I've noticed too, and, and I know my brother feels the same. And this is a little bit off the subject, and since you brought up you know demons and we're talking about angels, sometimes you got to be careful when when people pray over you, mm. because some people um, they carry other things than just the God has uh, put on them as far as his anointing. Mm -hmm. You can pick up other things from other people uh, that they have in themselves, uh, things that are manifesting in themselves, such as uh, disbelief, uh, fear. A lot of people carry fear, which is you know, disbelief, and what God can do, what he can't do. And sometimes when people pray over you, they're praying there spirit onto you and sometimes you can carry that with you you can get rid of it but it just it seems like it just hangs on with you didn't you have that kind of thing before brother you were oh. talking about that? um yeah yeah actually uh you mean uh, as far as someone praying over you and stuff yeah yeah um sometimes you just got to watch out for you know um people who pray for you kind of thing and, and um <clears throat> Especially if they, you know, have demons on them. And you don't want uh, part of that spirit. I think Bobby Connor mentioned that, too, that one That's night right. he talked it's about. Right. Well, we, we have a gal over here in our church, and her name is Naomi, and she says, she called it incubates. 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 Little, little demons just hanging out on you, you know, like kind of like stuff you got to get off of your shoulder because it's bugging you, you know, kind of like that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that stuff, but... It's just kind of little incubates, little things just to kind of just yeah. hold you down. And yeah. you got to be careful out there when you know, people pray over you. Know, I know I hear a lot of people, oh, this person pray for that. And I'm not saying that people shouldn't pray for people, but I'm just saying, you know, it's good for everybody to pray for another. But when you start having people lay hands on you and stuff, you may be transferring right. things that you wouldn't want to have on you. Right. So you got to be careful sometimes. Well, you know, a lot of people out there that are praying for people, they have good hearts and they have the spirit on them, but there's some that you just got to put the red flag up and say, hold on. Yeah. yeah. What do you think, of, brother, about fire tunnels, though? Because I, knew... I I've always been the person to give instead of receive. Pretty much I give a give. The Lord put the anointing on me. Uh -huh. And I find a lot of people, the Lord will just, like, I'm there praying over somebody, and I'm going to pray over somebody. And the Lord says, no, just pass, let them go by. And the reason why is because a lot of people are scared, they have that fear, and they're not ready to take that in. So normally you just say, well, just bless them, and just they let them go on to the next person. Um, I don't know. I, I, I've never had any problems with the, the fire tunnel per se myself, but I guess some people probably might have a problem with it. But uh, I enjoy it. I see the spirit come on a lot of people. Most of the people that I that I pray over, or you know, I lay my finger on their shoulder, or whatever. I mean, they, they the Holy Spirit uses whatever, whatever it wants to do. It just comes upon them and blesses them in ways. Mm -hmm. What about you? What do you feel about it? Well, um, that's that's a hard question because, well, I guess what I was trying to say is that if you get some of those people who have the incubates, mm -hmm. and you know they're the ones up there praying in the fire tunnel when you come by, you know, could you get those incubates where you go? 
in well, this work. She could be transferred. You know, I think it'd be transferred. But I noticed one thing too, like you, 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 my, you, my, you myself, brother. When we, do that, it seems like the Lord puts like a protection. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but it seems like there's a protection when you go into doing those things. Because I know you and I, we're, we're pretty pumped up with the Spirit before we even get into those things. Yeah. So we have the Lord's, you know, presence on us, and I'm sure they could; those things could probably be like a magnet on us. But I know that the, the Spirit is strong enough on us to be pushing away from us. Yeah. But case in point, we just met a sister last week over at a at a prayer meeting we went to. And we prayed over this gal, and she was really anointed. My, both my brother had our fingers on the corner of her, her shoulder, and we, we were just praying, you know. We were saying hi and everything. We were just praying over her. And we went to take our finger off, and we could not pull our fingers off. That's right. The magnet. And she was just laughing with joy and joy and joy, and it was coming out of her. And we're just going, whoa. We never thought the presence of God, but that, well, we felt it before, but it was real strong that one night. And we, finally, you know, there was people walking through the, the corridor, and they were going down, and we had a Holy Ghost party right there. It was, it was pretty Yeah, it was yeah. That, that, that's definitely a fun time there. But I guess also you got to be careful also, folks, is that, um, you know, um, you know, uh, and I'll make it short that, uh, you know, uh, I, when you're watching certain films or it could be horror films or, documentaries or whatever and and i went you know i made a mistake one time being stupid and went to see this uh movie called Par paranoia thing and uh, activity or something like that was the first one that came out paranormal and, yeah pearl yeah whatever that stuff is anyways uh <laughs> so I recommend seeing it so i went to go see it and uh you know i had the cam or whatever basically what it was is, is some guy was uh made a documentary they filmed it in their house and hire these two actors to stay there and, and basically they were capturing um, weird stuff on film and that sort of stuff and basically demons or whatever. So anyways, uh, it's a, it was a weird story, whatever. And after that, I was kind of like disturbed about it and I had to watch another movie just to get my mind off of it. Well, the night on um, when, you know, when I went home, I felt that presence still on me. Or in the house, and I can feel it in there. And so then I had to just repent over the Lord and, and ask forgiveness for watching that crap. And uh, what what uh, what I want to say is that just be careful because you can bring those things home. You know, no. open doors to that, and it could come home. That's why we we rather talk about the Lord and, and angels and the good things and stuff, and not talk about the income bits and stuff like that. But uh, but that does happen. That does happen, folks. So. Um, what you got, brother? Nothing, Rob. Let's just see what you're having to say. Just, uh, you know, just you got to, like he says, you just got to be careful about who prays over you. I mean, that's, this is no disrespect on people that really want to pay, pray for people. It's just that uh, you got to be careful because you don't know what's what's going on with different people, what, they, what, what they've attached to themselves. Yeah. Um, I, I use, you know, I know one thing that if you come to the Lord and you, and you ask for forgiveness for everything that you've done, then when you go to pray with a person, you, at least at least you're clean as far as the way the Lord looks at you. And once you give the Lord, you, you ask for forgiveness of your sins, and, and he, he he looks at it and he wipes it clean, and he doesn't think a second you know, guess about it or thought. It's clean in front of his eyes, and the reason it's clean is because his son died on the cross for you. Mm. His blood was shed. It was clean. Hmm. And so, but we, we can bring these incubates back on us by what we see with our eyes, we hear with our ears, or speak with our mouths. Hmm. They could all orifices. Wow. Which means for the evil one to get in. Wow. Especially your, especially your mouth. When he hears things on your mouth, he jumps on it. That's right. This is how I can attack this person. This is how I can attack their family. A good, a good, a good point that we're showing you right now. A lot. Sometimes you get angry inside. Maybe your kids did something wrong, or your spouses did something wrong, and you'll say things that comes out of your mouth that you didn't intend for you to say, but you said it. And when you said it, then the evil one says, "Oh, okay, now I can, I can go over there and I can attack her." And make her start thinking things, or put things in her mind. I make you think things, or put things there, so you can see and say, "Well, maybe he means that, or she means that." Wow. It's difficult for you to have a, to have a, 
but to have a relationship with, with your spouse or talk to them like you would normally would talk to them without worrying about anything. And sometimes, so we got to watch our mouth, what we see with our eyes, and we hear with our ears. Those are orifices for the evil one to, to come in to attack us in different ways. Final, what do you feel on that, brother? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely on that. So that's why we always need a daily uh, cleansing on that and stuff. Well, I think our time is about getting towards the end here. Yeah. I think you have, I think you have one more clip, <laughs> and I think we'll yeah. sign off. Okay, well, this uh, just to explain a little bit about this clip here, folks. Uh, this is a famous clip. Um, um, it's uh, Teresa Fen Fendeligo. It's a famous Portuguese uh, ghost, they call it. But anyways, what happened was, uh, to make it start as short, is, is these, there's these kids that, uh, you know, they... In, where they're out late at night and they're videotaping her drunk and getting drunk and pick and um, they picked up this one girl who was off the street and trying to give her a, a ride or whatever and, and you know obviously, uh, obviously the guy had a, other attentions and stuff but and um, she talks about the person who goes in the car you kind of see the video and you kind of eerie it's like who's this person it's kind of weird and these guys are jabbering, and he films the the person, and then he's going to drop her off, and he, and he said, this is the place where I got uh, in an accident, and then she ends it by saying, this is where I died, and then they all freaked out, and looked at her, she, her face was mangled, and then you see the camera kind of flipping over kind of thing, and uh, the story goes is basically the camera was still running, and she supposedly was a ghost, and she died at the accident at that scene. And they caught on video, and the story goes that all of them died except for, I think, one of them survived, and he lived to talk about it. And uh, it was reported in the police regarding that. So it was actual documentary. I don't know if it's real or not, but people have experiences like that. So you are going to say something right there. Yeah, I think it's being dubbed in French. I think it's Fran French, isn't it, or something uh, like that? It's, that uh, yeah, it's somewhere in the U.K., and... and um, you know, um, from Portugal, that's what it was. From Portugal? Okay. Yeah. And, um, you know, you might not want to show this to your kids or anything like that because there is some bad language in it. So. Yeah, definitely. You may want to let the kids. Uh, yeah. Yeah. On this one. Yeah. And so uh, the moral of the story is basically watch who you pick you pick up. <laughs> who you pick up as far as a hitchhiker, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Watch who lays hands on you, too. Yeah, yeah. So be careful. And you never know. I mean, because, you know, you got to understand that there's uh, there's angels out there and there's demons out there. Yeah. Amen. So here you go. Tá <laughs> Então, estás bem? O que é que estás aqui a fazer? O que é que estás aqui a fazer estas horas? Ah, posso ficar um bocado incomodada com a câmera. Já cheguei a esta câmera. Não alguma coisa. Não
Deixa-me lá o que é que é isso. É assim, tá? That's about it, brother. Wow. Hmm. So, so you know the story goes on that. So, um, the weird, you know, the weird part on that video also I noticed is that when they panned onto her, you hear like a distortion going on hmm. on the on the video part. And um, so I don't know if this is real or not or fake, but you know, maybe you can write us, let us know if you know more about that. But uh, also, let there. us know if you encountered any kind of angels or anything that's happened in your life yeah. that uh, that we could share with others. Yes, yes, definitely. So on that note, we bless you. We bless you. We bless you. Mm.